Welcome to another video by Ferros Technology. Today we're going to talk about objects and collections. And to be real about it, objects and collections might be a little bit of an obscure term. So let's add a little definition around them. An object is a form or a page or a frame and within a an object like that comes collections. So as far as a hierarchy goes, the object contains collections and the controls is probably the most obvious collection that you work with the most. So controls you find on a form in particular, on that form you see a batch of controls and those controls are things that you can manipulate in your VBA code. Now on a form, you might find pages or tabs as well. So on a page, a page will also have its own collection of potentially controls or other, other collections within that page on a form. Tabs are also a form of different pages where you have it in a tabular type of layout rather than a page type of layout. But in any case, what you have is you have a form the form has controls on that form. And realistically, what you have on, as far as controls go, is, is this list here. And you notice on this list of controls is a frame and a tab strip, which is your tabs, and multi-page, which is your list of pages. So literally a page, a frame, and a tab, all of those are actually controls and those controls can contain controls. And the way we address those controls and change their values, update their values, is really quite ordered and actually quite easy once you understand it. What if you have uh, an application where you know you're deploying it into a situation where you have several people with possibly learning disabilities, so they need various different looks or feels on the screen and you don't know who's gonna have what in advance. So you wanna give them a variety of looks and feels that they can actually manually change themselves. So let's show you what the different ways of accessing these collections can be like. So in this form, I'm gonna call it the uh, form, uh, it's a demo form here. There's a for next loop that you can use. There's a for each loop that you can use and there's a with that you can use. And so the on click function is the event procedure that we're talking about. So what I've got is three separate values that can change. The uh, control is the command button. Then if, the, if it is a command button, I'm going to change the font name, the font, whether it's bold or not, and this font size. So the font is gonna be Times New Roman for command buttons. I'm gonna change the text boxes to a sans serif font and I'm going to change the labels to a Comic Sans in this case. So here what we, what we have is we're going to go for I equals zero to me controls count. Count is a, a variable you can use that belongs to every set of controls. And it is a kind of like an index count. If you have 10, it'll go from zero to nine and you can then look at each control consecutively in a for next loop from zero to nine in, the, in that case, okay? So you're gonna set the controls to my control equals the controls on the form with a subscript I, that's, the, that's your index. So, and then you're gonna identify the type of control and change it and identify another type of control and change it. So this is the for next loop. It allows you simply to loop through all of the controls and go from one to the next, okay? So what we want to do next then, I want to look at the each syntax. This one of course has the event procedure on the on click event. I'm gonna click this here. And now we see it's a little bit shorter for each my control in me controls, okay? So the for each allows you to get rid of the indexing, get rid of con of obligating or dimensioning a, an index variable, you just go straight to each control. Each is really focused on how to loop through a set of collections. So 
for each my control in me controls. In other words, the form I'm addressing is me. My control is the control that I'm working with. Remember, I dimensioned my control as a as a control. So it's going to, for each of the controls in the controls on the form, if the my control is a command button, then I'm gonna do this. The if then statement in the center stays the same. Not much difference here, but in order to show the difference on the screen, we've got different values. These are all gonna be sans serif in this case, they're but they're going to be different sizes and they're going to be different colors for the four color of the label in this particular case and the four color of the text box. We're gonna see a change when we click this button and you'll be able to see how it actually functions and works. The last one is the with syntax. With my control doesn't have to address the control. My control is already up here and it's saying my control, if it's a command button, we're going to just do dot font name instead of having to do, do my control dot font name or dot, dot font bold and so forth. I'm having this change to Arial and sans serif here. I'm also going to change it to black and red in this case. So you'll be able to see which one changes which information. Let's go see the form and see how it functions. I'm gonna put it in form view here. And now our first duck is Huey, second duck is Dewey, and third duck is Louie. If I use the for next syntax, it changes from the default font to the comic sans and blue and red text in each text box. The for each syntax then changes it to a very bold and larger uh, text for the labels and different color for the text box. And then the width syntax also changes the all three of them to a very different syntax. So you can see you can flip back and forth with this. The only thing it won't do is it won't change back to the original, which was the default that it was programmed in because I don't have a button that says go back to the original, you know, undo all the formatting. But in, a, in any case, this shows you how you can quickly loop through a set of controls and when you get done looping through them, you have the changes on the screen. It becomes particularly useful, especially in that issue where you had users that need different colors on the screen or need different size fonts or need things larger. Uh, you can change a myriad of controls on the form simply by looping through them and ch making the changes that you need to make for your users. So if you like what you got out of this video, hit that like button and let's get it out to others. Also, we've got a lot more VBA videos coming. Hopefully you, you feel the value in it and you want to subscribe so you can come see all the rest that we'll have to offer here shortly. Thanks. Thanks.